this is Ryan from Frost Gaming, and today I'm going to give you a quick rundown of all the pistols in Counter-Strike Go and how to use them. So we're going to start off with the Terrace Default Pistol, which is the Glock 18. Um, in past updates, it was even powerful than it is now. Uh, the burst was pretty much unfair. You could just it was like a deagle basically whenever you're bursting people, like a good deagle. Um, but now burst is kind of useless unless you're playing a really, really close angle on somebody, like maybe waiting inside long A if somebody pushes through and you just quick burst them in the chest. But aside from that, burst is not as good as it used to be. What is good and is really overpowered is the single shot. The Glock single shot because you are pretty much accurate while running and it does 101. If you're within range to a person without head armor, it does 50 and 1 to somebody with head armor at a distance. If you're closer, it will do even more. But as you can see, it's completely accurate while you're running. That's why a lot of people now like to just chase for kills with blocks. They like to keep blocks on eco rounds and just use them. CTs are picking up blocks more often. It's just... It's probably one of the only pistols that you can actually you know, shoot relatively fast and still have a semi-accurate spread on it, but if you just shoot a little slowly, not even horribly slowly, you're going to be able to easily kill your target. All you got to do is take your time, and it should be easy peasy. Uh, the next gun we will go after is the P250. The P250 costs $300. It used to be my favorite pistol in this game until the Glock became overpowered, but um, for the price, you really can't go wrong with it on an Eco. Um, as a T, I either stick with the Glock or buy the P250 typically, depending on what I want to do. I mean, buying a flash or two flashes and rushing long A with a Glock, if you're saving, isn't a bad idea anymore. But doing it with P250 doesn't hurt either, because P250 packs pack some power and seems to be a very accurate pistol too. The key is to just shoot it slowly, just like with the Glock, pretty much. If you shoot it too fast, you're gonna have bullets start going, you know, in that slow spread. Especially at a range, though, it becomes a real problem. And pistols in Go, as a whole, just are really, really good. And if you can just manage your rate of fire and tap, pretty much, you're gonna be fine. So, the P250 as a terrorist, I mean, using this or the Glock, I mean, you're giving yourself a good chance of getting a frag based on how accurate they are and how powerful they are. As a CT, I think the P250 is an even better weapon choice, especially on like an eco round as a CT. Uh, it's one of those guns where you can kill somebody with one hit if you're close enough, or two hits very easily if you're aiming at the head. So, and just by the price of $300, you really can't go wrong. It's like buying a nade. You might as well buy a P250 and a flash and just flash push something, or let the other team execute and flash peek and just play smart with your pistols. Next up, we have my old favorite, the Deagle. Um, it's extremely powerful. It was even more powerful in past updates, and it used to be perfect. Uh, the original Deagle was perfect in this game. I don't know why they ever, why they ever decided to change it. It was that recoil update that changed it. But the key to the Deagle is shooting extremely slowly. You have to shoot very slowly to get it to be accurate. If you shoot even a little fast, bullets start going everywhere. So the key is shoot slowly. I mean, I'm not a big fan of crouching, but especially in this game, but crouching even helps a little bit, and you get a nice, accurate shot. So it should be mostly two shots to kill somebody, one shot in the head, obviously, but the Deagle is still one of those guns that you can, uh, you can really screw with people if you do it. I remember there's been rounds where if I played Beyond Dust 2 and the other team's rushing, 
and I'm sitting window and I have a teammate with a P250 or something sitting in closet and I shoot and I hit two people just for 50 damage before I die that makes it that much easier on this guy who's sitting here with like a P250 to just one tap him in the chest and you get two kills, two entries and you're in a 3v3 pretty much so I mean it's still an asset if you can figure out a way to use it correctly and I'm so sorry if you can hear that dog barking right now. Apparently I can't get to be 250 or 2000. Lastly though, we'll talk about the 2000. If we ever get our freeze now. P2000, it's not quite the USP. It's meant to be, but it isn't there yet. It's, uh... I like it because it has 13 bullets. The USP only had 12. I like how accurate it is, too. The But it can be very inaccurate if you... If you start spraying it, like so. However, if you... Take your time with it... And just tap it... Nice and slowly... It can be a very accurate pistol for you. Um, I like to, as a CT sometimes, if I'm not buying a P250, I'll buy, or I'll keep my P2000 and then I'll buy some nades to go with this, and it's not hard to just wait somebody out, peek them, and, you know, give them two shots to the head and take them out. It's a gun, though, that it's pretty accurate while you're moving, especially on, like, the first shot, especially if you're shooting slowly. It's not anywhere near as accurate as the Glock while moving, but uh, as you can see, you can actually do decently. I don't know why that won't work to get the gun, but um, the pretty much the running theme with these guns are don't spray them. If you want to get kills with them, you need to tap them, and you need to tap them slowly, you need to take your time, you just need to watch where your bullets are landing. Anyways, that's about it for all the pistols that I would be using. Um, I'm not a big fan of the uh, dualies or the Tech 9. So if you have any more questions, feel free to ask, and hopefully we'll have some more of these articles with other guns, weapons, nades, etc. And thank you for watching.